Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, this has turned into a combo video, weeks three and four. Week three was kind of a rough week for me. I was feeling a little depressed um, between personal things and the weather started changing. Fall is always kind of rough in that department for me. And I always forget that every year that I tend to get a little depressed in the fall, but always happens. So anyway, so week three, um, I was already feeling a little depressed and then we happened to be talking about racism in the social justice class. And then the whole Nike controversy happened and I was having a really hard time not being just really angry uh, about how some people were acting about that, um, the level of ignorance, and anytime I realize how many people just think that racism isn't real or just don't care at all, um, it gets me really mad. And so I just, I didn't feel like I, with the combination of all those things and emotions, I just didn't feel like I had it in me last weekend to record. So I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna force it. I'll just combine weeks three and four. So, so my classes aren't going too bad. Um, unfortunately, I'm not liking them as much as I thought I would. That's always hard to gauge, but I mean, I'm still happy to be in school. So I had my second week of my internship, week three, and I'm still not doing a ton with it, but I did realize right away that I liked being in kind of a workplace environment. I haven't been working for a while. I brought some pumpkin muffins for everybody that I made, and so that was kind of fun. And just getting to talk with the people that work there a little bit. My professor gave me a piece of work that was submitted to the magazine so I could practice doing some copy editing, which is just correcting grammar, and it was actually harder than I than I thought it would be. I was second guessing myself a lot, but actually ended up doing a pretty good job with it. And then this week at the internship, I found myself feeling like really insecure um, and kind of nervous. I think sort of in the sense like that it's such a different work environment that than what I'm used to. If any of you have started a second career or are doing in the process of that, you'll know that it's it's really uncomfortable because especially when you've already had one career and you've gotten to a point where you're really comfortable and you feel like an expert, to then go into something totally new and feel like a beginner again doesn't feel great, but obviously it's to be expected. Um, and not that the editing or the magazine thing is what I will be doing for a career, but I just am starting to get that feeling. And also, I tend to, I can fit into a lot of different environments and situations by kind of changing little things. So, for example, for this internship, I'm like, okay, you know, I wouldn't like do my makeup like this. I do a little more subtle and I wear something a little more professional. And I kind of like, oh, it's, this is like a sophisticated environment, so I have to act a little more sophisticated. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I always realize after a while, okay, this isn't working for me. Like, I just don't feel comfortable going that far away from being able to express myself. And it's not even that big of a deal. It's not like I can't wear my makeup like this. I just get it in my head sometimes. That it's, Sometimes it's, it is just all in my head. So I realized that this week. Now I'm not gonna be so hard on myself about it and it's really not that serious. Yes, I need to act professional, dress professional, but I don't need to overthink it and feel like nervous and not be able to be myself. So I'm just gonna go with it. So the social justice class, somehow it's not feeling as meaty, I guess, as I expected it to be or as I kind of wanted it to be, but it's kind of understandable because it's, yes, it's a 16 week class, but it's covering such a broad range of subject matter that you can't get, I mean, you talk about racism in just one week, which is two days of, of classes, you can't get that far in depth on it. 
so week three we talked about racism this week week four we talked about classism which the both are they're they're you know they're pretty interrelated in a lot of senses and to be honest with you racism is a subject that does really get my blood boiling and I'm very passionate about and uh, <laughs> it's difficult sometimes for me to talk about because I do get really emotional and angry about it so I'm, I'm honestly not going to talk about that a whole lot I will read a little section here from our textbook explaining race as a socio-political construct so what you need to know first that biologically there is there are no different races there are ethnicities and nationalities obviously we're from different parts of the world and have different different characteristics based on that but the concept of race is actually a constructed social idea so the way this states it says race is a socio-political not a biological construct one that is created and reinforced by social and institutional norms and practices as well as individual attitudes and behaviors. Uh, that it emerged historically in the United States to justify the dominance of peoples defined as white over peoples defined as racially different or inferior. So in order to have slaves, you have to have some kind of reasoning in your mind to rationalize that, right? Because they're obviously people. There's got to be, okay, why? You got to give yourself some reason why it's okay to do that. One thing in reference to racism that I do want to mention is somewhere along the line, this idea, at least among white people, um, was spread that being racist just means hating another race. If you're racist, that means you hate black people or you hate Hispanic people. And that was kind of the end of the definition, which is not the whole story. That's not the whole definition, but um, you know, that's growing up around all white people. That's what the definition was that I knew, you know, honestly. And that's as far as it went until it was five or six years ago that I took a, a class in Tampa when I was working on my associate's degree called Multicultural Perspectives in Human Services. And there was a black woman professor teaching it, and it was a very uh, racially and ethnically diverse class, which was awesome, obviously added a lot to the class. And that was honestly when I first learned really what racism really is in a larger perspective and what systemic racism is, I had no idea. And I felt really ignorant that I didn't know that and I felt terrible about it. And there were, the class was really uncomfortable and difficult because I did learn a lot of things that I just didn't realize. Um, and so unfortunately, you know, a lot of white people just don't know. And that's why we need to talk about it more and understand that racism is not just hating another race. I'll post in the, in the description a link to one or two sites that give really good definitions of, of systemic racism, oppression, there's one that I think the way that it ex explains it is oppression is discrimination plus social power. So it's not fun to talk about, but it's important because we can't we can't even have discussions if we're not even talking about the same thing. If we have different definitions of what we're talking about, we're basically speaking different languages and we're not going to get anywhere. So again, I, it's a bigger subject and a heavier subject than I can or want to get into right now, possibly in the future, that can be an entire branch off thing. But like I said, I will post some other references that I would love for you to check out, especially if you're listening to this and you're like, oh yeah, I 
never did realize that great um you know there's there's nothing wrong with that that's you know not it's just a product of your own experience and how you grew up and what the people around you taught you or did not teach you which is unfortunate but it's again one of those things once you're made aware what are you going to do with that one interesting thing so being in oklahoma uh, there's a lot of native americans here and it's one of those things that unfortunately that's another like terrible thing from our american history and past that is just kind of glossed over and people don't really think about so it's talked about and there's a lot more awareness in this part of the country just because there's an actual um population here and uh the mpr station here they have native uh news that so i get to hear that sometimes and just kind of a, a different perspective and so there was a there's a, a girl in the class who is native american and we had talked you know briefly about the the sports teams like the redskins the debate and of whether teams should change their names or not but this girl in the class was you know expressing her feelings about it and talking about how the term one way the term redskins was actually used was people when they would go when they would kill native americans and bring their skins back they would call those red skins and that's horrible and uh to just be like ah, you know no big deal whatever it's just a name it's just a word really though so it's unfortunate that that whole race group of people is kind of forgotten um so that's one thing just to think about be aware of it's not something that's talked about very much also we kind of forget to the significance of the struggle of people who are more than one race and how society still wants to not just in race but in a lot of categories you know labels and categories aren't inherently bad but when you're trying to force someone into a category that they do not fit into that's not fair and that can be really difficult so there's still a lot of forms that when you fill out um, and ask for your race you have to choose one um, there are some now that say there's might be a box that says more than one race um, or biracial or multi multiracial but a lot of them you still have to pick one and how can you ask someone to choose just one part um, one side of the family or one section of the family if they have multiple races just i can imagine that being really difficult to go through and having people question are your parents really your parents um so that's that's just another issue about race that we that we still I think don't think about that often because people are uncomfortable with ambiguity and it's understandable but it doesn't give you a right to to invade other people's privacy or feel like you can force something on them so again I don't want to you know I don't want to get too into the race conversation because it's a difficult in-depth conversation that um, I can't do justice right now but just wanted to mention a couple of those important things so yeah week three wasn't great so I'm done with week four now which is crazy because that means I'm a quarter of the way done with the semester already which is good, I suppose. And uh, since I only have the two classes, the workload is um, good and I'm keeping up. Hopefully next week, I will post a week five video and keep, up, keep you updated the rest of the semester. So thank you for watching. Please, um, if you like the video, click like, comment. I'm open to your comments, your perspective, your reviews, your thoughts. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and other videos that I'll be posting. Share the video and join the conversation with me so that we can get to know each other and 
build a community.